I love a good bottle delivery day. And today we got the Green River Full Proof new release. I've been wanting to try it ever since I realized it's the mash bill and the years and the proof of some of the unicorns out there we're chasing. Eek. Stay with me. Let's try it together and see how good this Green River Full Proof is. And welcome back to Dram's Four Dummies. I, of course, am the biggest dummy of them all, who has in a, the dumbest done the dumbest thing possible and created a YouTube channel about bourbon and whiskey when he knows nothing about bourbon and whiskey. But why'd I do it? I did it for you, who's also more than likely pretty dumb about this stuff too, even though we all know our things, but we don't really know anything. We're not pro level. We just we just like the stuff. It's we're passionate about our hobby. We're passionate about the drinking of it. We 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 say what we say. We think what we think. But we don't know really what we're doing. It's just whatever. It's subjective, right? We're just subjective dum dums having a good time with bourbon and whiskey. And I thought maybe there's other dum dums like me out there that just want to come into my kitchen, have a drink with me, and uh, share the experience. That's what this channel's about. Thanks for being here. If you're into this kind of stuff, like, subscribe, share with your other dumb friends, think about being a patron, all of that jazz. But what are we here for today? We're here for the Green River Cast Strength Experience. Um, if you haven't seen it on your shelves yet, it's pretty new. Uh, here in the old KC, Missouri side, it's not in my local bubbles yet, it hasn't hit Missouri at all yet as far as I know. It's not even in their computer system for Pete's sake. Could be on the Kansas side. Kansas gets stuff quicker. Damn you, Kansas. Duh! You only got Wizard of Oz. That's all you got. That's the only reason I can kick. No, I'm just kidding anyway. Um, so I had to get this online. Now, typically, I've had Green River before. I like what they're doing. Uh, solid, mid-level, low, low to mid. Not, not bottom, but not high, high top shelf stuff, right? So kind of mid-ish level, everyday drinking, solid juice. Good story. Cool bottle. Um, I would have probably just waited for this to hit bubbles and picked it up when I got it and then maybe, you know, done a bottle review then. But if you saw my 13th Colony review and then I realized that the juice in the 13th Colony, cast strength, limited edition, rare unicorn, best bottle ever, got to get it, had to stand in line, not stand in line, had to queue up online and be one of the first people, the only people to get a bottle this year and it was sold out in 10 minutes and you realize they're not distilling their own juice. They're using Green River, 70% corn, 21% rye, 8%, 9% math, 9% malted barley, mash bill, that's Green River. Oh, and also not on the label of 13th Colony, but you can figure out that they're using five to seven year old barrels of Green River with that mash bill at cash drink. And guess what? Green River happens to be putting out a bottle right now that is five to seven years old, that same mash bill, their mash bill, at cash strength. In this case, 117.2 proof. I keep checking my notes. I would check the bottle, but my eyes have become so bad recently that I can't read accurately. So I would squint and I'd probably mess it up. So I have to make big old person notes over here. So. Since I have that bottle review out for 13th Colony, I'm like, wait a minute, I need to do, it's the same juice, right? Let me do this bottle for all the reasons, because Green River in this bottle deserves a review, but also I'm going to do this and then preview, I'm going to do a little uh, boop, boop, blind bourbon battle with the 13th Colony cast drink and the Green River cast drink. The only difference between them that I can tell is one is aged in Georgia and one is aged in Kentucky, which scientifically, which I love this geeky stuff, makes a difference. The warmer, stickier, humid climate and maybe the rickhouse setup of, a, you know, a different type of lower rickhouse, whatever, at um, 13th Colony should make a different flavor profile. But how much? How much when it's the exact same juice and it's the same proof? And... Uh, right, I don't know. And it's five to seven years, and it had a lot of time in the barrel to, to mature. That's for the next video, though. This one is for this bo this uh, bottle right here, this cool bottle, the old Green River. Cast strength, I've already given you all the stats. All right, let's get into this thing. 
nose time. Um, bright, punchy, um, light, lighter than I thought. It's, I mean, it's got a lot of, it's got spice in it. It's got kick in it. It's got that punch in it, but it's not like overwhelming. It is only five to seven years. So maybe that's part of that. This one's more of that summertime jam, that kind of punchier, brighter, citrus, citrusier. It's got a fruitiness to it. Um, you know, I feel like it's got, it's got kind of an apple thing going but it does have a little bit of citrus. Like I'm gonna go more of an orange. It's not that bright, sour uh, citrus. It's more of a sweet, uh, kind of a burnt orange, you know, if you kind of like um, sauteed, caramelized a little bit an orange, if that's in there. So if you caramelized some apple and some orange together and kind of mix that together, got that into like a graham cracker crust. Um, let's go for scores here. I'm gonna go 7.5 on the nose. That might be a little low, but I'm going to say 7.5. It's a little bit on the lighter. It's got a lot going on, and it sometimes kind of comes out of there and punches you, but sometimes it, you got to kind of work to get it out. So it's a it's an elusive, moody nose. So we're going to go 7.5. That moodiness is knocking it down a half point. That'll help teach it a lesson. Let's see what the palate is doing here. Okay gets in the palate, it immediately starts kind of firing up on some of those taste buds. Um, not a bad way at all. You can just, I like that. It's got enough life in it that with, without any oxygen, without you swallowing it, just sitting in there rolling around, you can start to taste it. And it's really getting some of that kind of bright chocolate. Some of that citrus is coming through there. Some of that orange is in there. Kind of that chocolate covered orangey deal. Um, I'm going to go back in for some more of those notes, but it, it, it's relatively smooth-ish. It's got some life in there. That proof comes through in the palate. Um, but the back of the palate, the, that pepper and rye starts to really sizzle, and that runs into the finish, and that finish turns into a very proofy, rye, spicy, peppery booger. Let's, let's give it another, another go-round, and then we'll get some final scores. All right, I'm going to go 6.5 on the palate. I'm going to go back to a 7.5 on the finish. All right, here's what we have. Breakdown time. Nose, 7.5. Very, again, um, sweet and punchy, but not overly hot. Not overly spicy, but it, it can kind of, but it's a little different every time. So some some sniffs, sometimes it's like it gives you a little zing, a little extra zing from the higher rye, the 21% rye, um, and maybe the youth a little bit. Um, but then other times it's you kind of got to kind of get your nose in the glass to pull something out. So it's 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 a little bit overall, it's a nice even nose that's got some layers in it. It's got some of the, the, the like I talked about, graham cracker, some that kind of caramelized orange and caramelized apple, like almost like a little confectionery ball going on. And that's sort of where it lives. But every so, every so often something spikes out of that that kind of gives you a little bit of, of fun. And then sometimes it kind of disappears a little bit, but it's different a little bit every time, which is a lot of fun. It's really darn good. It's a real good nose at 7.5. The palate, after that nose, feels like a little bit of a letdown. So that's where it goes down to a 6.5 for me. It just, it gets in there and it's it's got a little life. It's got a little energy. It's got good flavor. It's not doing anything offensive at all. Um, it's what it's doing, it's doing well. I just feel like it's a little bit forgettable compared to the nose and the finish. And so to me, a 6.5 would be, what would that, to me, that's a good to really good a pretty darn good uh, palette, and it is. It's a good, pretty good, all, heading towards really, really great good <laughs> palette. 6.5. That's a good score. 6.5. Then that finish is pretty darn unique. The first couple of drinks, it, the back palette started to sizzle. That started to kind of fade out a little bit, which also kind of meant that as it mellowed, the palette just became a little bit more, a little bit more meh. Still good. A little bit more meh. So 6.5. The finish, though, 
in the back of the throat, it just punches you right there. That rye just comes right back at you that you really, you got a little hint of it in the nose. You didn't get much of it in the, in the palate. And then it comes back in full force in the, in the finish. And then it hits you in the back of the throat. And as you kind of swallow it, it just sort of runs all the way through that Kentucky hug. And you, that flavor keeps running. And there's just a lot of kind of fun in that. It's a little bit jarring. And so again, for someone that doesn't, that wants this to be a smooth, easy drinker, first of all, probably stay away from cast strength in general, right? We go cast strength because we want as close to what comes out of the barrel as we can. We want cast strength because we, like me, like a good ride, want it to be fun, want it to be a little bit different every time, want to have to kind of think about it. Why did it do it that way this time? Why did it do it this that way that time, right? That's part of the fun of this game. So if you don't like that ride and that fun, then just stay away from cash drink. That's a not, don't buy this, right? That's just, it, it might it might irritate you more than anything. Um, but if you like that kind of that kind of ride, this one starts you off, again, my roller coaster, right? And it's like, it's up here. I mean, it's, it's moving up. It's not the steep climb. It's not the fast climb. It's just kind of, it's just a nice climb. It's like, yeah, I think some stuff's gonna happen. And then it kind of just goes, you know, it just sort of goes, yeah. It's fine. Kind of flattens out, and at the end, it's like it just goes jaboom or jaboom, like whatever one in your mind makes your stomach drop, and you go, "Oh my, that's where the ride happens." So, I feel like the the, the nose sets you up, the palate lets you down a little bit, and then the finish takes off and goes, "Yeah, we had a good time. We had a really good time." So, in their own ways, so that's a seven point five on the on the finish. And that makes for a total 7.2 for the bottle, which again, that's a darn good bottle. It's a, that's, a, that's a darn fine bottle at $50. This bottle is a good one. If you are a cast drink person, if you've had Green River before and you liked it, you got to buy that. That's a, that's a must buy at $50. If you know you like Green River and you like cast drink all day long. If you haven't had any Green River yet, I would say that's okay. If you're a cast drink fan, that's $50. That's all day long. Now, again, five, seven years, your price is right. Um, it's a really good experience. And I think that, you know, everyone's going to get a different thing out of that, which is what makes this game fun. So thank you for being here. I love you guys. Love what you're doing. You only get one life. Do whatever the heck you want. As long as whatever you're doing is not hurting anybody, then, I, then, you're, then you're good in my book. Have a great night or day or morning or afternoon or whenever the heck you're listening to this thing and watching it. Bye, guys. And now I'm just a lazy sack of whiskey-spilling crap. What the heck, man? <laughs>